Before you hit the road for the first time, you need to figure out what powers this baby. Do you need a 30 amp or 50 amp service connection? Let's take a look and see how your motorhome is wired. You're going to find the electrical cord connection on the driver's side of the motorhome. Some models will have permanently attached cords, while others offer a detachable marine style cord. If the cord is permanent, it should be located in a storage area near the rear of the motorhome. Once you find it, go ahead and pull the cord out of the box, find the access port to feed the wire down to the ground, pull the cord down and through the port over to the electrical connection. Detachable cords may have a connection on the sidewall of the motorhome or in a basement compartment. To attach the cord, match up the prongs on the cord to the slots in the motorhome connection, push in and twist, then tighten the security collar. This way it prevents accidental disconnect and it keeps it watertight. On these detachable cords, you are not tied down to one place when it's time to pack up. You can store it in any compartment you want. When you go to get them out, they may be tangled together. They can slide around and if you didn't wind them nicely last time, they may give you trouble. So here's a trick I use. There is not a cable out there that can resist the sounds of adult contemporary music. Now that the cables are out, you need to determine whether or not it is a 30 amp or a 50 amp cable. And Tom here, who is normally on the other side of the camera, says he has a real easy way to tell them apart. I sure do. What is this? Our prongs of three, 30 amps they be. Prongs of four, 50 amps be more. Prongs of three? Pirates didn't have electricity. How do you think they came up with the term shore power? Yeah, but it doesn't. Arr! Real easy to identify the differences between a 30 amp and 50 amp cord. The 30 amp cord is smaller and has three prongs. The 50 amp cord, this is a big boy. It has four prongs. Look at your campsite hookup, see what it offers. You may need an adapter to plug your 30 amp cord into a 50 amp plug. Take note, it will not change your amperage. Your coach is wired the way it's wired. In this case, the 50 amp service will provide more than enough power to run everything in your motorhome. You will need a reducer if you want to plug your 50 amp cord into a 30 amp outlet. You are reducing the amperage running into your coach from 50 to 30. If reducing from 50 to 30, keep in mind that all of the power needs for the coach can be met. There are even reducers that can take a 50 amp motor home and allow it to be plugged into a regular old 15 amp plug at your home. While not a lot of things are going to work in the motor home with only 15 amps, it is a great way to run a few lights and get that refrigerator started cooling if it's the first trip of the season and that fridge hasn't been run in a while. Before you plug in, or out for that matter, make sure the breakers are off. Then plug into the box. Hey Tom, here where we need to talk about what you can run off 30 amp service, I think we're going to have to cut your scene. Where did he go? Whoa, what is going on? What are you doing? Getting ready for my big 30 amp scene. Well, we're going to have to cut it. Why? Never mind, we'll put it back in. So here's your don't be like Tom takeaway. With 30 amp service, you cannot run everything in your coach, or you may trip a breaker, so you're gonna have to be selective. With 50 amp service, you're pretty much safe to run anything you want. When it's time to pack it in and unplug, turn those breakers off first, then disconnect your cables. Then simply wind them up and store them until the next time you need them. All right, I am ready for my big seed. What?